Welcome to the vlog. Three days in office. We have a new camera. I it's a friend in there. You sit in the front seat. Which means I can now actually commit. Put on the framework level configured for. Yeah. We can. Is it? It's gonna be hectic. A very good morning. Welcome to another vlog. Haven't done an in office in a while, so let's just do that. Let us go to the office. Catch you in a bit. How's it? There's a part on the frame that does not send it at Yeah. It's it. To hold it, we're trying to sit down. With yeah, this yeah. one now, I have my hands free, so mm. it's a bit stable. Uh, a very good afternoon, a very good afternoon. It's no longer morning. I'm done with my first bench. I'm done with my first bench of my meetings, which lasted up until like half past 11. So I had to fill up some JSON because apparently we don't fill out forms. So they wanted to make it a JSON just for vibes. But yeah. Now currently I'm just going through some requirements, I'm on a new project, so going through just some mock-ups and seeing what needs to be done and I'm going to start implementing as soon as I can. So the time is around 20 past 12, I'm about to step out for lunch very soon. Yeah, yeah, in case you haven't noticed the match, make sure you get it, the link is in the description as usual. Yep, that's it for now. Let's catch up when the day, is, when the day keeps on going. Cool. I'm a front end coder, man. <laughs> <laughs> sitting in the front seat. I should I explain all this? <laughs> <way. laughs> Deportation. Thank <laughs> you, that when I add. Like the code haste to see you happy once you think you're making progress back to square one now my backend just decided to go down and there's a couple of invalid columns errors but at least it's something that we can deal with just going through the migrations that i have and seeing which column is actually giving me an error because the test site just went down after i pushed some code and it was working locally so that's the funny part and when i'm investigating on the sql i can see that okay it's creating the procedures and the migrations but i don't know how it's allowing to create migrations that have invalid column names on local and crashing on test site so yeah i'm sorting that one out and then i can actually start uh with the front end after that yeah time is about quarter past three yeah it is after hours the time is around half no not half past five it is around five it is time for the gym so i'm knocking off i shall see you when we go to the gym now Good morning, you are joining me the following day. It is Wednesday, we're continuing with the work. Yesterday I left off when I said I had fixed my errors. I did fix my errors and I tested out the test environment. Everything was working fine and yeah, started out playing out with the actual configurations that I need to do. And today I'm continuing with actual requirements. I'm gonna be working on the login screen and registration screens. So that we usually have it on the framework level configured for us, but this is gonna be a public portal. What that means it's, it's kind of it is a system but it kind of has to have the modern touch 
because it's gonna be used by you know usual clients not like kind of admin stuff so it has to be a bit modern and a bit of attached to it so the requirements are quite long i did not expect this because and it, it is they are very details uh give the props to that so i have to go through each and every of those requirements and make sure everything is configured properly and everything works the way it's supposed to but yeah this is inclusive of forget password uh reset password or oh, reset password and I uh, forgot the other stuff that usually comes with login man but you know the basic stuff but yeah that's all about it let's just get right into it and today is a deep focus day I'm working from home no one I'm not expecting any calls so we just get into it zone out focus focus it's a deep focus I think even the music that I'm playing don't see the, uh, Like I said yesterday, it's like the code never wants you to be happy. When I wanted to start configuring and doing my stuff in the front end, I just noticed that actually the template of the entire public portal is outdated. So I had to update it because I had to put in some application keys so that you can be able to differentiate between the two front end applications. So now I had to update that because the pipeline was breaking and that's what I've been doing the entire time. So yeah. Now I'm trying to actually run it locally. If you'll see running npm run build there to see if it works before I can push it and see if the pipeline succeeds and I can actually start this after all of this has passed. Yeah, man, that's what you have to deal with. On the latest news, if you're wondering what I'm actually using to shoot this, I am using the Insta360 Go 3S. Uh, we have a new camera. I got this specifically for the POV shots. And yeah, it was a bit of expensive, but actually I think it was worth it. This is a really cool camera. Uh, it's a bit low on the quality side, but getting to be able to use both of your hands and not worrying about anything else, I think is just perfect, man. So now, what we use to record now is our Go Osmo Pocket 3 and yeah we have the mic here as well and now we have the new member of the family which means we can now do POV shots and if you follow my other channel even though I haven't posted in about six months we are about to start now actually posting more of the car content because I wanted to do POV drives but I couldn't because you know I didn't like how I, uh, my phone how we want to use my phone and all of that so yeah that's what we're gonna do now they have even the sticky thing here quite a lot of accessories that you get with it and the packaging gotta say it's pretty feeling premium and yeah that's what we have man so the the accessories and equipment is getting nicer and <laughs> it's, it's getting bigger and we are getting more creative here now i think this is obviously my go-to camera because it has the higher quality and my go-to mic of course i haven't tried pairing it with the actually go uh with the go 3s but yeah this is what we have at the moment of course i also do have my phone right here which i'm wirelessly okay it's actually charging right here but i no longer use it as much yeah so you can see even here you can go 3 as here is showing up so immediately when i start recording you can see the files and preview just like how you would do with the osmo pocket 3s so yeah that's what i'm actually doing i need to take this to the other side so it can charge well and it's kind of impressive it can charge with the with this thing on charge 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 what are you doing you see now i'm removing it no longer wants to charge yes yeah so I'll have to remove this to my setup actually but yeah it is fine there so that's about it of the stuff I'm using this is also yeah this is where this stuff actually goes in so yeah nice time man okay the time is 12 25 and if you see everything has successfully built which means I can now actually commit my 46 changes yeah it is actually 46 changes and yeah let's do it 
and we wait for the pipeline to run. Meanwhile, just gonna stage all of these changes and then we get straight into it. Then I can go bring myself some food. Uh, so this is, this is kind of a chore. We are back in business, so that push did fix my issues and we are starting from scratch now. Hopefully I just get to focus on that, but before I actually go through with that, I have a pull request that I have to review really quick and then I'll get to this. Yeah, let's get to writing code, man. On that note, it is approaching 5 p.m. Have made quite a lot of progress actually. And yeah, we're looking okay. Uh, there's a few things that I think I need to discuss with the BA, of course, because some of the requirements, I think they can be greatly simplified. I think there's a certain point where you are actually developing something that you don't actually have to agree with everything that is there and if there's a better approach you need to suggest it and actually look at alternatives that you could actually take instead of like over engineering this thing because remember this is just simple login and you know reset password register there's no need to over engineer some of the things so i think i'll have that conversation tomorrow but the things that i think are okay and are actually quite understandable i've already implemented them so there's the registration part which is going to be a bit crucial because there's multiple steps or in the registration i just want to propose that some of the steps we actually do them once we are actually inside the system instead of like making someone go through like a 15 minute registration i don't think that's that's a good user experience and from the years that i've worked with systems that's what actually people really prefer they want to be simple simple sign in get into the system they'll do the rest of the stuff once they're inside but i'll have the talk and yeah the ba i don't think there's a pm yet the ba is the pm so we'll have that talk tomorrow and then we'll decide which one actually will fit the public portal and yeah that's mostly about it i'm gonna go to the gym i'm not sure if i'm gonna vlog that but I haven't vlogged in the gym in a while, right? And I've been tested out my go through S. So I might vlog it. I'm not sure. Let's see what happens. Just finalize a few things, then we go to the gym. Other than that, very productive day. I'm happy with it. And I got tea. <laughs> Surviving winter. 